Hi all, I wanted to make a quick video about general market outlook for the rest of the year. We are now in the towards the end of September. We've got October, November, December. And I just thought I'll put across what's going on in my mind and how I generally look at things for the time being. So before I proceed, I would like to mention that this is an educational channel. All content over here is for the sake of education. Kindly read the disclaimer that you see on the screen and in the description below with that said let's proceed so i'll share my views and what i'm thinking at this point of time and then we'll take it from there all right so uh, you know i've been trying to make a good video on swing trading for the last couple of days and uh, the problem is i see everything right now uh very well priced i i really don't see in good stocks first of all the first piece of advice that i would like to give anybody is if at all you want to get into swing trading or positional trading then make sure you're in the top 50 or maximum top 100 200 nifty 50 companies if you don't have the time to analyze that then invest in mutual funds which are index based there is some sort of you know filtering that happens with index automatically so if you look at nifty 50 sometimes when the companies are not performing well they go out new companies are bought in so it's kind of a self-correcting mechanism so if you really don't get time it's always best to invest in a mutual fund that is index based all right something like mutual fund that says it invests in the nifty 50 top 50 or top 200 or whatever of course you can have some investment in mutual funds that are mid cap and small cap based also but uh, i i as a person would always have a big chunk in the top 50 companies on the nifty well apart from that when you look at uh, i'll tell you how i go about uh, trying to find stocks for swing so if you look at this screen i am looking at grasim this is a 3 month screen all right and uh, the the moving average is sma 15 we are working with pivots fibonacci pivots this is decennially that means it's working on a 10 year cycle this has started in 2020 it will go on till 2013 so this pivots will automatically adjust uh as the decade keeps going ahead and it's it's got a 10 year view the other indicator is 52 week high and low i'm looking at that you see the uh, macd at the bottom and when you when you kind of kind of judge the levels i don't really see i'll do this macd from scratch let me just do this for you macd macd it's showing like this macd i don't know why it's not showing me a normal macd there you go so what happened god knows what's happening but in any case what i'm trying to say is when i do the macd rsi study and when i'm looking at the charts currently i don't see uh, much room left especially in uh, companies that are good to invest in uh, you may go up another 10 20 percent but that aside I don't think there is real uh, doubling or tripling kind of opportunity right now and the market needs to correct a little. So let's look at Grasim for example. Grasim 3 months view. Alright it looks like this. I've told you already the indicators I'm using. If you look at Grasim on the monthly view. This is a monthly view. These are SMA 69 and 89. SMA 69 is green. SMA 89 is bluish. If you look at it. 
there's a good breakout over here and it's going up but now i feel it's time for it to come down if you look at uh, that was monthly now this is daily if you look at grassim on the daily chart this is just an ema 200 that is running looks like i don't know it may go up or it may go down i think there are more chances of it going down from here so uh, so companies that are you know fully uh, let's look at ultra tech it may go up again if once it crosses the on the daily chart there may be another spike up once it crosses the uh, red line on top breaking out with the macd let's look at ultra tech on the monthly time frame can go up a little more let's look at ultra tech on the 3 monthly time frame see it's already near its 52 week high so what i'm trying to basically say is good stocks seem to be already well priced in that multi bagger opportunity does not does not exist over here currently and uh, i also think that there are some similarities between what's happening now and 2008 2008 also market was in a tremendous rally and it kind of peaked out in uh january the following year so there are some similarities of this euphoric run that we are seeing right now with 2008 so trading is all good trading on the 5 minutes time frame i have spent a lot of time uh, you know uh trying to study 5 minutes time frame i'll tell you the reason also when i was investing uh uh in swing trading and positional trading generally i have never lost money all right i have lost money trading but in swing and positionally i have never lost money because i was always investing in good companies top 100 to 100 companies i used to also make small cases and invest so what i'm trying to say is i only felt very challenged when i tried to do day trading day trading is very challenging it's like catching trying to catch a fish every day whereas uh, something like uh, swing and uh, positional as long as you know what you're doing the chances of you losing money is low compared to day trading because even if the stock dips and does not go the way you want if you're holding the top 50 or top 100 companies in nifty the chances of recovery is quite high but in day trading what is once gone is gone uh for you the next trade is a next opportunity and when you are trying to revenge trade you tend to lose more money all right so overall i felt that uh, intraday trading is much more challenging and so i took it up as a study and i'm still studying i've been very focused on it for the last one year but i've been trying to study it for the last uh four years and i only think i've made some progress in the last one year So currently, I think is a good time to be a trader, especially the way markets are going to move. If you ask me about the market movement yesterday on Friday, which was the twentieth of September, I found some something unusual about it. It goes up, it drastically falls, and then it drastically goes up again. It's not very healthy. So I just think that you know a note of caution over here is important. I also look at uh, st- stocks like Page Industries. I knew about two three months back that this is going to go up a little. Yeah, you know it's got, it's still got uh, some movement that it can still uh, go ahead and make. Yeah, you see on the daily time frame it's coming close to the red line. It may break out from here and give a thousand, two thousand, three thousand point up move for a stock that is trading at forty three thousand. I mean, three four thousand is nothing. It can do that in two three sessions. So, yes, stocks like Page Industry can go up a little more, but I don't think that 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 multi bagger opportunity exists right now in the stock market. If you want that multi bagger kind of opportunity, we had one. You can say in the COVID period, we had one in two thousand nine ten, and the next one is yet to appear. And I'm sure with time it will appear. Just the pro, the problem is when. For a catastrophic fall, it's not a question of whether it will happen or not. It's a question of when it will happen. 
so i'm not trying to encourage anybody or discourage anybody i'm also not recommending any shares by the way i'm just showing you some of the stocks that i track in fact in a video a couple of uh, i think days back or one or two weeks back i've also shared uh, with my members all the stocks i'm tracking and most of these stocks is, is there on that list i've just added a few like i've added today i added ultra tech i added timex three four days back and on top i've added bajaj housing finance which was just listed but apart from that i have already discussed this list with my members so the bottom line is this that i'm not very optimistic uh, on the whole when it comes to individual stocks but i'm optimistic about finding trading opportunities intraday i think uh, it'll be interesting from now till the end of the year i think intraday traders will have good opportunities if they are disciplined not if they are intelligent if they are disciplined i have re have realized that uh, intraday trading is not about intelligence of course you need to be you know you need to know at least 2 plus 2 is 4 that much will do but it's more about discipline uh, it's more about uh, how you carry yourself uh, and your mindset it's more a mindset game than intelligence all right and it's more about discipline so i see good trading opportunities coming up for intraday kind of traders in the next 3 months i see some opportunities probably for uh, for future shorts also coming up in the next this the uh, one month so as you know options people can make money even uh, even when the market is not going anywhere because uh, there are traders who will just uh, eat the time decay as it's called or theta decay it is called shop option traders can also make money when the market is not going anywhere because the call strike prices will start decaying and eventually some strike prices will go to zero but you see a futures trader is purely directional a futures trader does not have the luxury of time decay he's he is a pure directional trader unfortunately the cost of trading futures in india is quite high that's why i'm taking to options for now but if the cost was lower for futures trading i think i would have done more futures trading than even options trading but that's a separate argument altogether all right so today what i wanted to basically share and i may come out with some video tomorrow also about uh, you know generally my trading and the kind of pages that i'm making right now i'm not too sure because i've already shared my best knowledge with my members my members know where my mind is uh and currently my mind is uh, fixated on the j line series it's absolutely phenomenal it works like a charm when it makes money for you it makes a lot and it gives you enough indicators to tell you when not to trade so according to me j series is currently the top of my learning curve it is the point i have reached right now after 4 years of research and i've shared that with my members so if you want to become a member just click on the join button and become a member with us but apart from that even for all our subscribers i've shared very important videos look at my video called macd plus rsi works like a charm look at my uh, video about cma my trend bars that i uploaded 3 to 3 2 3 days back there's some phenomenal things you can do combining the macd and uh, Uh, demystifying CMA and trend bars. So I think there are good opportunities. The bottom line is this: I think for investments, we are not in the right phase right now. The bumper, in, you know, returns on investments at this point of time will not come. I think the market is fairly priced. Of course, if your horizon is like thirty years, then okay. But if your horizon is three years, then probably not the right time. also i think this uh, whole concept of compounding and um, uh, you know compounding is the eighth wonder of the world it's all overhyped in practical life you can only take advantage of compounding if your father or better still your grandfather did compounding for you to enjoy practical life things are quite different you will find about one or two people in 100 people who have been doing sips from when they were 20 years old and and did it with a strong discipline till they went to 50 60 i'm sure you'll not find more than 2 3 people out of 100 that have done that so all this logic about compounding being the eight wonder of the world is all correct 
I'm not denying the fact it's not correct, but life is not that simple for most of us. I mean, uh, I think people know what I'm trying to say. So we need to deal with where we are currently and not listen to, you know, big theoretical stories and all of that, which are all correct. But in practical life, you know, there are so many uncertainties that come up here and there. Uh, so unless you are a you have been a good salaried employed with continuous salary growth from 20 year, 20 years onward till 60 years only they can make those uh, continuous sips for 40 years and then reap the benefits in the end again i'm not trying to say what is good what is bad how one should go upon leading their life i'm just trying to give you my understanding of life all right so what i'm trying to basically say is uh right now we seem to be in a good phase to exploit the j series for intraday trading right now may not be a very good phase for long term investing uh, long term investing i think we should wait a little bit i'll also share uh, i've already shared this uh, adaptive trend finder every day with my members uh, all, also my subscribers i release a day end market summary every day at the end of the shift okay now what i've not shared is something like this this chart also i share at the end of every day i've been telling people that i'm working on this auto fibonacci and i'll release it for my members in the coming weeks but when i show you this i do not show you with the adaptive trend finder and the iliad wave automated all right i just show you without the adaptive trend finder and without the iliad wave but you see when i look at it with the iliad wave and adaptive trend finder you see what it's trying to tell me on the daily on the four hour time frame this is nifty chart it's done the five move and now it's time for a correction all right it's time for a drop but then again this five can break this line and go break this blue line and go it just needs to be above the three so will it stop over here it does not need to stop over here it can go above the, above the blue line it can go above the red line it can go up till here also not a problem it can go infinitely high but when it stops we are looking at a correction that then it will go to that abcd consolidation which generally happens on iliad wave all right so again i think more correction will happen on the nifty compared to bank nifty bank nifty it's not currently telling me exact one two three four five five previous five has ended over here then it's done an a b kind of a c over here all right and now it's trying to make a new run probably so one two three four five bank nifty may go up a little more we don't know at this stage but uh, nifty looks good and ripe uh, mid cap probably looks good and ripe even fin nifty looks could probably good and ripe so all in all what i'm trying to say is uh, there can be a little more up move or there can be a lot more up move but then eventually we are looking at a steep correction happening one of these days now whether it happens in the next 10 days next 20 days i don't know whether it happens now or in the middle of october i don't know but a correction will come maybe not very steep but it'll be quite steep all right uh people who don't know about elliot wave just google it it's a very simple chart to understand it's basically a five wave pattern and it consolidates with the abc and generally forms another five wave pattern on the way up or down I that's my understanding of Elliott waves and I don't want to go beyond that at this stage because what I've understood is enough for me right now uh, I'm trying to better study J line series and Fibonacci Fibonacci is something that really works and this auto Fibonacci is really great so if if you have spare time and you want to study I would I would uh, tell everybody to study Fibonacci for people who are members with us there are two videos on my channel only for members that is called advanced Fibonacci retracement and advanced Fibonacci retracement for experienced traders study that those videos again and again uh, because those those two videos are basically the content is same so you can do study any one of them but those will tell you a lot or teach you a lot about FIB and you can apply that logic even to stocks it's not only applicable for index but also for stocks all right so on that note guys i'll end this video i just wanted to have a weekend talk with everybody on the channel and just share my market outlook 
for the remaining bit of the year uh, because I see good opportunities for trading and I don't see great opportunities for investing at this point of time. Maybe some good opportunities for shorting will come up in, in the indexes. So people who are on futures and options, uh, I think it's going to get interesting from here. And for very long term investments, I think people who are sitting on cash, they should sit out a little more. I'm not recommending any stocks. I'm not telling you to invest or not invest at this point of time. I'm just sharing my views based on my understanding, my charts and my chart reading. All right. And uh, this channel is only for the sake of education, guys. So I'm just sharing what I have learned so far with all of you. All right. On that note, guys, I'll end this video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope you all, uh, all are having a great weekend. If you're a member with us, that's great. Thank you for becoming a member with us. If you're a subscriber with us, thanks again for becoming a subscriber with us. If you are not a subscriber, then please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already a subscriber, consider becoming a member of the channel by clicking on the join button. Also subscribe to our free telegram channel. The link is given in the description below in all our videos. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.